Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hello. How Hello. Are you? Good morning. Well, hi. Is this Ro and Mia McGee? This, this is. is. This is. All right, then. This is, I'm so excited to talk with you guys about your show, Growing Up McGee. I'm so glad it's back. I am, too. <laughs> then thank you for having us. It's and my thank joy. You for watching. I'll, yes. Thank you. It's my joy. Tell me about the kids being in ki kindergarten. If we could start with you, Mia. Oh my gosh, kindergarten. They have six different teachers, and we did that with a purpose because we want to make sure that their individuality, individuality is nurtured. So that was very important for us. But can you imagine six different sets of homework? That's a lot. Yes. And they're, I mean, I, I appreciate the kindergarten because it's full day, and they don't take naps. So when they come home, they're ready to eat, and they're tired. So. It's a big help for us because we, you know, we have a lot on our plate. But um, it's amazing just to watch them grow. Yes. They, it's a true it blessing a, and an honor. A lot of personality. It, it, I know it is. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we watch you guys mm -hmm. parent from afar. Uh, mm -hmm. Ro, Ro, will you tell me about being a father to six kids in a society that does not value uh, parenting skills, it seems, sometimes? Well, you know, being a father of, um, just being a father, period, it's, it's truly an honor. And um, I realize that I'm blessed. And mm -hmm. um, even though our hands were full, we got a lot of children, you know, they are our children. And, you know, just being there in their life, being convenient in their life is so important because I, I, I realize being a father, how much it means to them. You know, they look to me when they can't go to their, their, their mother for a mm -hmm. cookie, you know, and, <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> that's pretty much how it is. You know, the, the boys look at me and they learn how to be a father. They're learning how to mimic, you know, um, all the positivities, you know, and even the negative, you know, they're learning right from wrong sure as, um, as they grow. And I'm just happy to be a part of that because I realized growing up in the house, um, a single family home, uh, my mother raising us. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't have that male figure, and I'm seeing how much it means to them. And I'm just so blessed, and I'm so happy to be a part of their lives. Absolutely. I feel, I feel you guys' blessing. Mia, let me ask you. I have four children, me and my husband, and my kids are all grown, and I pray so hard. I still have to pray so hard. Do you find yourself continually mm -hmm. praying for your children? Yes, all the time. It's a never-ending, yeah. coming and going, sleeping. I, I, I'm always praying. I live off of prayer. We pray without ceasing. Yeah, we pray without ceasing. That's the truth. <laughs> when we watch your show, what will we see about faith, family? What, what will help people at home other than just being entertained by six rambunctious children and their parents? <laughs> well, believe it or not, um, I am a pastor, um, on top of being a father of sex tuplets. So um, you can understand why we pray a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you, know, just, you know, just being there for them and, and, and um, showing them how, um, what it means to be a family. You know, it, takes, it takes God. It takes having that solid foundation. And um, they're seeing it from us. Mm -hmm. And you know, like our kids, you know, 
there are six of them. You know, you got two girls, you got four boys, you know, and, you know, we have to teach them how to, how to get along at, at the same time, how, um, you know, to, uh, to be individuals mm -hmm. and uh, to continue to pray and, well, uh, yeah. my, you know, before I leave this earth, I, my, I hope my prayer is that I've done everything to let them, um, to, to put them closer to God. Um, yeah. We come from very humble beginnings. Our, we, we come from both broken homes. Both of my big brothers are deceased. And we were raised in the inner city of Columbus, Ohio. And it, you know, if we can move from that to where we are now, that's nothing but faith. We always believed in a better day for our lives. And what was our past never defined our future. That's right. And we're living examples of that. I feel like it's an honor and a true blessing to be able to document this um, because, like I always tell my husband, we have family records that our kids, they will be able to look back on. I always tease him. Um, it, one day, I know when they grow up and finish college and get married, Somebody going to call me, mom, my one child, you know, talking about their daughter, maybe, and crying that she's three years old, going through terrible threes or whatever. I'm going to tell them to watch this episode. You see, we made it through. You can make it through as it well. Through. Absolutely. So I'm very, it's, it's, it's so much inspiration because in this day and time, you don't see that often. And I'm just so honored to be on Up TV where there is positive family shows that yes. exist today in 2016. Well, you said it so very, very well as we wrap up. You've gone from one of the premier networks, OWN TV, and now you're on another premier mm -hmm. network, UP TV. We're so glad that you're back. Yes. You know, you could just be on regular Uplifting. cable. We'd love you. Okay? All, all <laughs> well, right. Thank you. All right. <laughs> thank you. And when do you want us to watch your new uh, upcoming uh, show on UP? Yes, this Wednesday, June 8th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Growing up, Marie. Our, yes. Growing up, McGee, you guys are fabulous human beings. Thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you for having God us. Bless. Have a wonderful day.